Hello everyone, my name is Arush Kotiala. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and welcome to the fifth and the last of our recordings on project building rules within the project management module in Dynamics 365 operations. The last rule that we're going to look at is called the fee type billing rule. The fee type billing rule is slightly different than the other ones as it works on top of an existing billing rule. A fee is simply a markup that you apply to any of your invoices when they're generated based on other billing rules. So let's take a look. On my screen, you can see from our previous session, we had this time and material type billing rule. What this said was that only work done of type consultant or labor crew can be billed to the client. Now let's say we wanted to add on top of that a 10% management fee markup. To do that, we would press add on the contract pick our type of fee and fill in the remaining information. So we know that the project is the one that we had selected before, our project 138, which is the only project on this contract. We pick a category that the transaction will be marked against. In a fixed fee type project, you would not need to make this, but in a TNM we do. And finally, you pick what percentage is my markup. So I'm going to say 10%. You then select which rule are we adding this on top of. Now in this case, we only have one. If you were to have multiple, you can select multiple, and you could decide how you want to add this markup. I'm just going to pick this one. So with this, our setup is complete, and let's return to the project. So it's project 138, and now remember, it has to be activity of type consultant. So I'm going to go to my journals, and I've already created for us an hours journal. So let's take a look. All right, we have consultant work, we have 10 hours of it, and we have a price of 300. So that means our billing would be $3,000 and a $300 fee or markup that we have as well. So let's go ahead and post this journal. All right, our journal has been posted. Now, let's return to the contract. All right. All right, so we're in our contract. So let's go ahead and make an invoice proposal. All right, and now you see we have two billing rules available to us. So if we scroll to the right, we have $3,000 from our first billing rule, and then we have $300, which is our fee or our markup. So when we go OK and create our invoice proposal, You'll see that we have both, and we have a total invoice of $3,300. So when I post this, all right, I'm just posting my invoice. We now have posted a $3,300 invoice. So if we were to go back and look at our project, we can go to the manage and look at our invoice journal we can see our total invoice amount was thirty three hundred dollars as we needed so that is the fee type billing rule with that we have completed all five types of billing rule questions thank you and have a good day